welcome to the Game Ramble first look video for Nine Years of Shadows. My name is Dark Cloud and I'm joined by Nobio, Mrs. Cloud. This game is developed by Holbert Studios and published by Freedom Games and it's a side-scrolling metroidvania. Mm -hmm. Players take control of Europa, a brave warrior determined to enter the dormant fortress of Talos and stop the corruption within before it swallows the world in darkness. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I like the color scheme of the starting menu already. Yeah, we've got start, options, credits and exit. Let's take a look at the options first. We've got game settings, language, show tips, numeric damage feedback. That's always useful. See how much damage you're doing to enemies. Mm. Controller, we've got a normal quick attack, jump, backdash, shoot, armor and so on. Some accessibility options such as controller vibration and camera shake. Then we toggled. Mm -hmm audio we can set the sound effects and music volume and then finally in the video we can set the resolution and the window mode nice and that is it so let's get started with nine years of shadow Nine years ago, a curse spread across the land. Color vanished from the world, leaving only sorrow in its wake. No one living knows how it happened, but the curse continues to spread. Some resisted, others were consumed. It took everything from me. If I were lucky, I would have shared my parents' fate, but my body refused to die. So I linger on in this wretched world, watching the curse grow stronger day by day. I devoted my life to ending the nightmare, but to no avail, until today. The rumours say it all began in this castle and that none who enter are ever seen again. After nine years, I'm willing to take the risk, even if it costs me my life. After all, I've already lost everything else. A very grim start. <laughs> okay, so I guess that is our protagonist. Hmm. Armed with a massive halberd. And this would be the castle. And mm -hmm. true to their word, everything is uh, colorless. Yeah. Very smooth controls, very responsive. Mm -hmm. where her quest takes her. After all her preparation. Mm -hmm. So, A to jump. Already figured out the attack button, fortunately. So, for my combo by repeatedly pressing attack. Oh, and there's some willing participants. There's a best fury as well. Keep mm -hmm. track of the things you have. And they just seem to be continually spawning, so. Mm -hmm. Well, that it shows you the good. damage that you do to them. You know? Yeah, that's one of the accessibility options that you can toggle, I okay. think. Okay, on we go. That is a very big crystal. One origin, one purpose, host to the ancient civilizations, bearer of the great shines whose mighty tribes have perished. Amphibize Petiko Capra. Preserve, preserve, you are a fortress. Beyond the end of the ancients came the nations, the second genesis, the new burdens. Upon my back I bore home and sanctuary from time beyond memory to the day of darkness. Okay, some interesting lore there. No idea what it means, but I guess it will be revealed soon. Soon? Well... Well, in due course, I guess. <laughs> no idea what the length of this game is. Cracked mm. walls can be destroyed with repeated attacks. Cool. Go. Now you're gonna be hitting all all kinds of walls to make sure. Yeah, not just the cracked ones. 
Oh my, what do we have here? Yeah, boss fight already. Oh, it looks like it. Ah, that is awesome. quite a big thing. Okay, well, so I mean it's a deep end here. Oh, okay. Um, maybe I should just run. Yeah. Uh, that seems to be the safer option, so let me just do one of those black walls. Come on, break. Okay. Uh, seems to. Oh, run out what of the... space to run. <laughs> I totally mean to fall down there. I don't think it, oh, what is that? Color. Ah. Uh, <sighs> that thing looks dangerous. Okay, I can at least hit it. Okay. Uh, so it does warn you where the beams go. Yeah, be. that is useful, but I'm not seeing oh, ah, okay. where its health bar uh. is. Interesting. What is it doing? Mm. I don't like like the it's teleporting or something. Or it's oh, that's going to be a massive beam or something. Uh -huh. oh. oh. Okay, there was no dodging that, I think. Yeah, it's worse than the laser, sh laser show. <laughs> it ended so soon. All those years of training came to nothing. Why did I think I could make a difference? Uh, I can't breathe. We're gonna get haunted by a teddy bear. <laughs> Sweet. Stay away from me. Sweet. <laughs> I'm warning you. Sweet. Who doesn't want a cute teddy like that? Me. I feel better. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna hold the right trigger. What's that gonna accomplish? Ooh, color. See, all you need is to hug a teddy. My wounds are healed. Then take that as medical advice, please. <laughs> and color has returned? Who are you? It's me. <laughs> a pino? What a strange name for a little ghost? Three, me, 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 me. <laughs> I know, it's a fine name, just a little peculiar. Mine is a bit odd too, I'm Europa. Three? Not anymore, noble titles are a thing of the past, I'm just Europa now. Three? It would be my pleasure. Besides, it seems like I could really use your help. Three! It's settled in. You help me out and I'll keep you company. Okay, there we go. So Pina provides Europa with a shield. Each time she's damaged, a portion of the light bar is consumed. And when the light bar is completely empty, you hold the right trigger to hug a Pino and restore a portion of it. See? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, the color has arrived to the world. Yeah, so pretty. So we can aim with Pino with the right stick to lock onto specific targets and then press the right trigger to shoot him. That seems quite... Yeah, he doesn't seem to mind being used like that. Now we're in Sector A, Talos Entrance. Mm. Uh, it's so beautiful, oh. right? I can actually see the, yeah, the lights the coming through. Beautiful pixel art mm -hmm. is on full display now. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look if there's something in the uh, options. We've got a map here that actually shows all the sectors. Here we've got the settings menu. And this would be the bestiary. So we've got a Dolus Watcher here. Once brave defenders of Talos, these loyal servants now hunt the ones they once protected. This brutish variant will attempt to rend its prey apart with its claws hands. That's cool, you can see all the creatures you've encountered. Got Europa here. Let's see what else. Trunix Evasion, Lullaby, and then the map. So that, yeah. Looks like we can use Pura. Two as a weapon as well. What? <laughs> Just throw okay. him at enemies or shoot him at enemies. So the obvious comparison here would be the Castlevania series, specifically Symphony of the Night. But yeah, that is not a bad title to imitate, and I'm sure this game also has some unique 
elements of its own. What is that thing? Beastry updated. At least their power, their halberd is quite powerful. It's got a cute titty, so I'm sold. <laughs> yeah, always a big bonus in a <laughs> Metroidvania game. They should have more teddy bears. <laughs> Dark crystals can only be destroyed with light. Okay, and where do I get this light? Are you the light, little titty? Yes, you are. Okay, on we go. So I'm hold down to crouch and attack with eggs. I've discovered that before as well. Oh, okay. I should have used it there, seeing as that enemy has a ranged projectile. Mm -hmm. So, let's try that again. There we go. Um, there on we go. I think I need to get to recharge a light bar, use the lullaby or defeat an enemy. I'm gonna use a lullaby, what is mm, that? They look evil. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I'm very cautious with this one, I'm not gonna get into it. its off. Oh. Oh, there's two of them. Yes. Keep my teddy bear at them. He's out of life now. Mm. Yeah. Let's keep that one. Oh. Mm. Okay. And we can drop down over here. Oh. Mm, oh. That reminds me of Mega Man with the doors closing. Yeah, it does, eh? Go on, where is he gonna? Gotcha. It's so cool that you see some clouds and stuff in the background. No. Yeah, the whole art style of this game is really beautiful. Mm -hmm. What is that? You have to go through here? I don't know. It's a Metroidvania, so perhaps you'll unlock some skills or abilities later that will allow that. Mm -hmm. Why are you facing away from your arms? Oh, it's mm -hmm. like that. Ah, yeah, I saw that coming. We've got a really nice soundtrack. Um, it's apparently composed by Miguel Hassan. Okay. And there's some soothing pieces from uh, celebrated composers. So people who know their games will recognize Mishiri Yamane from the Castlevania series and then Noriko Rubino from the Metal Gear Solid series. It's quite uh, prestigious. Yeah. Yeah, I really like the look and feel of the game so far. Yeah. Left trigger to perform a backwards dash. Oh, is he gonna... so I guess we need to avoid that swipe attack of his. Mm -hmm. uh, rush in. Mm -hmm. I can see a difficulty setting, so. But so far it feels quite accessible. Hmm. But I'm sure I've seen nothing yet. Back at the entrance. Of branching off in all directions. What do we have here? A relic. Really? Okay. Found a blue note. Interesting. The game does have. Uh, some kind of musical theme, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I could see like um, the theater faces and stuff like that. So. Yeah, and here we have a what is this? A organ piano or something. Let's refilled our health and saved our game. Nice. That's cool. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you can acquire elemental armors while exploring, and then also change them on the fly and use their special abilities to explore the map. So things that allow you to swim against waterfalls, or travel underground tunnels, or glide through the warm air vents. So I guess that was one of those uh, spots we saw earlier. We need the right armor to access them. Very cool. Yeah, I like that the game has a unique theme, not your typical Metroidvania affair. 
I like the art style. What on earth? Okay. We are in a theater now. now. Okay, let's see. Welcome, young warrior. We are glad you are finally here. You knew I was coming? Indeed, long have we waited for you. With your arrival comes the time to witness all that was foreseen by the ancient builders of this castle. I don't understand. Who are you? My name is Mishiru, and this is my sister Kaori. Forgive her for her silence, for she is not a talkative being. She keeps her voice for her songs. You can find Master Hibina at the end of the hall as well. We will help you heal, not only physical wounds, but also those of your heart and mind. What do you mean? We are composers from the Dorian era, sent by the gods to heal the world with our music. Now would be a good time to start. The world is a mess and it has been for years. Uh, that duty falls to another. We have a different role to play. Furthermore, we have been lacking our source of divine magic. There are music notes scattered around the castle. We need them to carry out our duty. Have you found any notes during your travels so far? The blue one. <laughs> I have. Well done. Now we shall guide you. So it can increase vitality or increase light. That's uh, interesting. Look at those skills. Our light bar capacity has increased. Okay, and I like that they incorporated the composers into the game itself as well, not just using their music, but their characters too. Welcome to my workshop. A workshop next to a music theater? For my art, there is no better place. I'm Ibino. Suppose you've met Mishiri and Kahori on the way here. We're on a special mission. In fact, we've been waiting your arrival. We have come to help. I use musical spells to treat precious metals. Through this, I may strengthen your armor. Armor fragments are hidden throughout this castle. Find them and bring them here. I don't own any armor. This dress is all I have. Do not fret. Remnants of the ancient civilizations yet linger. Scarce as they may be, I recommend you search about the castle. Should you find one and bring it to me, I will use my magic to aid you. I'll be sure to come back if I find anything. Thank you. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So we roam about this castle, find the musical notes, get the armor and explore while killing enemies. Definitely sounds like my idea for a good time. Yeah, so this is Nine Years of Shadow. It's available now for PC and I think if you're a fan of Metroidvania games, you're definitely going to want to check out this one. I've just uh, barely scratched the surface here, but already it uh, has a good first impression. Mm, looks like it could be very immersive. Yeah, I just like the fact that this uh, map looks like it could be <laughs> quite sprawling and lots of places to explore, lots of skills to unlock and quite an extensive bestiary as well from the looks of it. To look forward to seeing some of the bosses, if they're anything like that first one, it's going to be quite the adventure, mm. defeating them all. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Remember to like, subscribe and share if you enjoy our videos. Until next time. Bye.